Tonight, the Broadway community is mourning the death of Cheetah Rivera, the legendary actress, singer, and dancer, thrilled audiences for decades. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is here with a look back on her life. And Alice, what a life. What a legacy, Dick. You're right about that. And you just said it. Cheetah Rivera was a triple threat, a dancer, singer, actress. She gained fame in some of Broadway's biggest musicals. As a proud Latina, Rivera charted her own path to stardom while paving the way for future Broadway stars. Anita's gonna get her kicks tonight. She was the original Anita in the 1957 Broadway hit musical West Side Story. Cheetah Rivera would become a star, shooting toward a path that would leave a lasting mark on musical theater. Rivera made her Broadway debut in 1950 in Guys and Dolls. Her first Tony nomination came in 1961's Bye Bye Birdie. And all that in 1975, the actress starred as Velma Kelly in Chicago, leading to another nomination. Rivera would appear in 18 Broadway shows and won her first Tony Award in 1984 for The Rink. And a second Tony in 1993 for Kiss of the Spider Woman. To stand on a stage and simply show you. In 2005, Cheetah Rivera, The Dancer's Life, opened on Broadway. It was her story about growing up and kicking up her heels. CBS 2's Dana Tyler spoke to Rivera about her new Broadway show. I'm honoring my family. I'm honoring all the people I've ever worked with, every dancer I've ever danced with. She was born Dolores Conchita Figueroa del Rivero in Washington, D.C. Rivera was raised by her mother after her Puerto Rican father died when she was seven. I believe that Dolores is responsible for me having a career. She's the guts. She's the courage. At age 15, she studied classical dance in New York City during the day and danced in a nightclub at night. She would turn in those ballet slippers for tap shoes and the lights of Broadway. Her final Broadway show was in 2015 in the Candor and Ebb musical, The Visit. She was nominated for another Tony Award. There's a truth but it wasn't just theater. Rivera had a memorable role with Shirley MacLaine in the 1969 movie musical, Sweet Charity. I'm gonna get up, get out! And live. What a powerhouse. Rivera was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Tony Honor in 2018, and she was a Kennedy Center honoree in 2002, the first Latina honored. Cheetah Rivera died today in New York City at age 91 after a brief illness. She is survived by her daughter, Lisa Mordente. Dick? And she will be missed so much by New York and the nation. Stay with CBS2 as we remember Cheetah Rivera. Look for continuing coverage of her impact on Broadway and community and beyond. We'll bring you the latest tributes here on the air and streaming on CBS News New York.